everyone, this is Randy with AGM. Today's video, we are talking about an exciting product that we have. It is the Sting IR. This isn't necessarily a scope or a clip-on or a monocular. It's kind of an all-in-one unit. It does a lot of things that a lot of units can't do and it does them pretty well. So it's gaining a lot of popularity online. We have two versions of the Sting IR available. We have a 384 resolution version and a 640 resolution version. Now both units are 12 micron units and all the features are pretty much the same whether you're picking up one or the other. The biggest difference being the objective lens size. The 384 unit has an objective lens size of 16 millimeters while the 640 unit has an objective lens that is a little bit larger at 27 millimeters. Both of these have a base magnification of one power and they're designed that way because of how they are used in multiple configurations. Depending on what your needs are, you might wanna pick up one of these to do one or multiple things. A lot of guys will pick these up and just intend on using it as a small, lightweight, compact, single monocular, and it does a really good job at that. It also comes with all the accessories that you need to put it in a helmet-mounted application, and if you want to use it as a standalone, kind of hands-free monocular, where you mount it to your helmet so you've got one eye looking at thermal, you can do it that way. You can also bridge it with a night vision device. There are mounts available that allow you to put the Sting IR on one eye and have have like a traditional PVS-14 on your other eye, which will give you a whole lot of capability. And a lot of guys are really excited about that. You'll notice when you pick these up, the box will have kind of the options for you to kind of pick and choose how you want to use your Sting IR. One option that you can use is it comes with this QD mount. You can simply stick it on your rifle and put it in front of say an LPVO like this one, and now your Sting IR is used as a clip-on thermal device. Why that's cool for some people is the footprint is very small, it's lightweight, it's got really high resolution. As long as your LPVO, your desired optic is semi-aligned behind this unit, you're good to go. One of the drawbacks with using the Sting IR as a clip-on device when compared to some of our other clip-on units is that this one is only rated for 5.56. There's also some limitations that you get because the eyepiece and the objective lens is pretty small here. So here I've got a one to 10 power LPVO. If I was running some, you know, three to 15 uh, hunting scope, this is not the ideal setup for that at all, but you could technically do it as long as things were kind of lined up. Another feature about the Sting IR that makes it a little bit unique is that there is no onboard video recording. While you do have the USB-C port on top to run an additional battery, you don't have onboard video. Now there are some aftermarket solutions where you can plug directly into the unit and plug a memory card and actually start recording video. So if that's something you wanna do, run it on a helmet or on a gun and recording, there are options out there that allow you to do that. It's just not built with onboard video recording. When you open the box of the Sting IR, you'll notice that it comes with a bunch of accessories. There's a scope mount, the clip-on mount for any Picatinny rail. There's also a 18650 battery cap adapter. So if you don't wanna use traditional CR123s, you, you wanna get more battery life, you wanna get with something that's more rechargeable, it comes provided in the box. You could just swap out the battery cap and it comes with a rechargeable 18650. So those are becoming really popular in the industry for lots of thermal devices. You can run your Sting IR that way as well. You'll also notice internally with the Sting IR that there are a few differences between this model and some of our other units. One of them being that there are different color palettes. You still have black hot, you have white hot, you now have an orange hot, which some people find to be a little bit better for eye fatigue. And if you wanna go full predator, we even have a rainbow mode for you. All right guys, so that is the Sting IR thermal imaging device. It can identify as a clip-on, a monocular, or a handheld device, helmet-mounted applications. It really just depends on whatever you might wanna use it for. If you have any questions about that, check us out on the website. You can look at more information there. Go ahead and leave a comment if you like, and we'll catch you next time.